Well, I think we, we really take advantage of Mother Nature. Uh, in Mother Nature, there's a number of sugars combined. We just need to figure out how to break them apart. Of course, one unique qualifier of the plant growth process is uh, that we manufacture cost advantageous sugars from cellulosic biomass, non food sources. We can use our process to de deconstruct several varieties of biomass. We have almost 7 billion people on this planet to feed. I don't think we can afford to divert our precious food sources to make chemicals or fuels. Well, the, the amazing thing about the Renmatix plant rose process is that all you need to do uh, is, at a very fundamental level, take the biomass, you put it in a slurry, you put it into a fluid, and you raise the pressure and the temperature of the fluid in a very controlled way to a very precise point for a precise amount of time, and then magic happens and the, you get the constituents out. As you heat up water, you eventually reach the point where it starts to boil. And there's pressure that's associated with the vapor that's coming off. You can actually cap that pressure and force that vapor stream back into liquid just by keeping pressure on the water. And if you squeeze it harder, you can condense it back. And you can go back and forth like that as you increase in temperature up to a point, the point that they call the supercritical point. Supercritical is a term that refers to the fourth state of matter. Most people know solids, liquids, and gases as the normal phases of matter. In a supercritical state, water becomes something like a liquid and something like a gas. At that point, you can no longer compress the water back into a liquid phase. You now have what's something like a liquid, something like a gas. There's lots of interesting things that happen once you go supercritical. If you take a wood chip and drop it in a glass of water, it will sit there. But if you take that water to supercritical conditions, something dramatically different, something magical, and something incredibly simple happens. The cellulose essentially falls apart. Anytime you talk about cellulose, and paper is made out of cellulose, that's a polymer of sugar. The sugar is all tied together chemically, but, but it's a long chain of sugar. And so when we talk about doing hydrolysis on cellulose, what we're talking about is cutting that, that long chain up into smaller and smaller chains, ultimately getting down to that single link and that's the sugar unit. Sugars can be used for, to make a wide variety of, of things from fuels to chemical intermediates to polymers and to other higher value products. Uh, most of these people are looking to try to replace existing products that were generated originally from an oil-based feedstock. We figure if we can make a good sugar from a good source at the right price, that we've done our job and all of the very interesting uh, technologies that, that have been evolving over the last 20 years can really be put into the marketplace as well. Renmatics, like many such ventures, started with um, just a couple people and an idea, then brought a team of really experienced uh, people from the industry, and we're so excited that this, we've put together this great team to bring this important technology uh, to the market at scale. We're changing, you know, pretty big markets. The energy and particularly the fuels and chemicals markets are very big markets. And they both know they need to move towards a renewable alternative. And we're an enabling technology from a material perspective to help that happen.